Good morning it is day 11 I think I've been off by a day but I did the math this morning and today is day 11 so I am just leaving Barrel Springs campground where I spent the night it was a great night last night we had lots of frogs and it was just um, perfect temperature I slept pretty good and uh, I am heading to Warner Springs today I'm gonna meet up with my friend Pat who's gonna take me and Rima um, the girl I've been hiking with uh, to out to lunch and then we're just gonna head back um, to Warner Springs and probably hike out a few more miles uh, for camp this afternoon, late this afternoon. Um, yeah, so I just getting an early start, um, not as early as I wanted to, but um, just trying to beat the heat. It's gonna be hot this week, but I only have a four hour hike this morning, so I should be getting into Warner Springs well before noon um, if I get going. <laughs> so anyway, I want to, um, just say thank you to everybody who's been subscribing to my channel. I just hit 5,000 subscribers, which is a huge milestone for me. And I'm just um, honored that anyone would even want to follow my journey. And it means a lot to me. So again, thank you so much. And um, with that, I'm going to head up the trail and uh, get, this, get this hike started for the day. Here's my first... Um kind of close view of the meadows I'm going to be walking through soon. Yeah, this area is really pretty. I'm hoping maybe there'll be some wildflowers down there, but it might be still too early in the morning for anything to be opened up, but yeah, this area is pretty cool. That's a pretty easy hike from Barrel Springs to Warner Springs. Look at that. There's cows and there's a baby right next to the trail. Oh my god. Awesome. That's where I'm headed. So the last couple times I've come through here, the cows have been way, way off in the distance. <laughs> I've never gotten to see them close up. One time, oh yeah, 2019 when I was leaving uh, Warner Springs, they were close to the trail, but that was the only time. But I love cows. Yay! I'm assuming they're friendly cows. God, it is so gorgeous. And yes, the flowers are starting to bloom out. This is the most flowers I've seen in this area open. 2019 was a super bloom, but when uh, potholes and I came through here, it was, I remember, pretty overcast and cooler day and everything was closed up, but they're starting to open up. Yeah, just a couple more days and it's just gonna be, oh my God running my way. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. <laughs> I'm the only one out here and I'm kind of nervous. And they all have their babies with them. So hopefully I'm not threatening in any sort of way. We'll let them go join their group before I uh, proceed. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Yeah, we're just going to let the group all mingle together before I uh, come up there. That way I'm not between anybody. They're taking their time. Oh, not those guys. Nice. Come on, guys. Let's go. There we go. They're going to head off that direction. There we go. Anyone else? Where 
is one way, one straggler way off in the distance over there. I think I'm going to brave it. Although the ones with the horns, I wish they would. Yeah, you can keep going. <laughs> These guys were like the protectors as I went by. <laughs> they were just sort of facing me and staring me down. But their babies right in the middle of them. You're good, Mama. You're good. Where'd they go? Well, I'm glad they allowed me safe passage. Here's my first snake. He's really, really little. Alright, little guy. You better get off the trail so nobody nobody gets you. There you go. Come on. He's kind of cold. Are you okay? Yeah, he's just... Yeah, just get you off the trail. There's people behind you. I don't want you to get... Get stepped on. All right, warm up. He's trying to warm up in the sun. Desert jungle again. so nice to see these uh, streams that are really strong still. So anybody coming through this area soon after me, uh, April, early April for sure, this is going to be really strong. Um, this is mile 104.6. these little legs. Making really good time this morning. Uh, behind me is, well, Eagle Rock is somewhere over there. It's about 0.8 miles ahead. So I'm gonna go up there, take a nice break. I'm going to message my friend, let her know where I'm at. And uh, yeah, just continue to enjoy the beautiful views. And the breeze is amazing. As you can tell, that sun is really hot. So I'm very appreciative of the wind right now. <laughs> on the hillside over there. through areas like this where the landscape pretty much speaks for itself and I'm just immersing myself in it trying to enjoy it while it lasts because just a couple hours I'll be well out of this and never see it may never see this again and it's just so vast and so incredible and it's just hard for the mind to comprehend that 
there's still, you know, wild areas like this in today's society where most of us live in, in and around cities and there's so much congestion that when you come out here and see this, it's, it's almost hard to comprehend how much space is here. And uh, I'm just very humbled and very fortunate and grateful to be able to be here. I really am. This is my third time coming through and it's still just as special this time around. Unfortunately, there's like several people heading up to the <laughs> Eagle Rock at the same time. I try to stagger it so that I don't get there with everyone else, but these young guys always catch up to me somehow. And I'm not like going too slow, but anyway, it's just hard to get pictures because a lot of people will take their breaks right on the rocks where you want to try to get a photo shoot. So <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what we can do up there. But um, anyway, I'm just so lucky and again, just so grateful to be able to be out here again. And I'm uh, loving every minute of it. meet my friend Pat. I can't stop taking pictures. <laughs> this is like going to be the slowest three miles ever getting to Warner Springs, but I don't care. Every time I turn a bend, there's like different flowers that are blooming. This area is vastly different than where I just came from. It's all wooded in here. This oak tree, I know the video doesn't do it justice, but it is massive. Wow, wow, wow. That thing must be like centuries old. That's crazy. That's at least, um, Maybe about 10 to 12 feet at the base of that. I just arrived at Warner Springs. So I'm just gonna go up here across the street to the uh, community center. Oh my gosh, look at this. Did you buy any condiments with your fingers? Nice. Thank you, Pat, again <laughs> for treating us because uh, this is uh, this is gonna be amazing. <laughs> so we're at Julian Pie Company now. Getting some pie, a little ice cream. And our wonderful Trail Angel Pat is treating us. She's excited. I'm excited. Bye, Pat. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're very welcome. 
There's my trail angel taking off. waiting to be able to get into the Warner Springs uh, Community Center. They have limited hours where you can go in and charge equipment. You can do bucket showers, bucket laundry, uh, other things like that. But anyway, we're just waiting to get in there before we um, head up the trail a little bit further. Hey guys, I thought I would just check in for this afternoon. Um, it's about 4.45. Reem and I are getting ready to hike out about three more miles to find a camp spot. Kind of a restful afternoon after we went out to lunch with uh, my friend Pat and I've just been hanging out here at the resource center just doing a couple chores and charging and washing a couple clothing items and such but we're ready to get out of here um it's pretty warm today but it shouldn't get any warmer it should start getting a little bit cooler so we're ready to head out this is that field that you um, have to hike through when you leave Warner Springs and get back on the PCT we're actually almost through it now and back to the woods, but it's pretty long. Look at this old oak tree, it's just dead. The limbs falling apart. All right guys, this is the end of day 11. So I left Warner Springs a couple of hours ago and hiked all the way up to mile 14.7. This is just above the Agua Caliente Creek, so I can hear that running. And it's just right up ahead there, down the trail, so I can get water in the morning. The sun is set, and it is time to retreat into my tent. Good morning. It is day 12, and uh, I am about almost a mile out of camp um, from this morning. I'm camped at 14.7. I just filled up the three liters to get me to Mike's place, uh, where I'll fill up, and I might take my afternoon, or late morning siesta there uh, just depending on the temperatures but um yeah so we'll figure out how much water i'm going to get from there but uh first order business just to climb up out of this uh canyon area where this uh, agua caliente creek has been running through i probably won't be videotaping a whole lot for the next 11-ish uh, miles um, it's already really getting warm fast and it's pretty much just straight climbing from here to Mike's place. So I have just enough water to get there in the heat. I kind of wish I grabbed an extra half a liter now, but I'm learning as I go, but I don't want to mess with the heat out here. That is for sure, especially with climbing. So I'm going to just put my nose to the grind and concentrate on getting to the next water source at Mike's place. But I'll probably show you guys the views a couple times between here and there. I'm kinda, kinda struggling on the hills this morning. It's, uh, it's been five, it's gonna be about five miles of straight up climbing from where I camped. And so I'm about, just about four miles into that. Um, so no, actually I have about two more miles of climbing and then it's kind of just up and down, up and down from there. But whew, my legs are tired. Probably, you know, it's day 12 and I hightailed it into camp last night. It was getting dark and I was kind of like freaked out. Uh, Rima had camped a little bit behind me. So I don't like really hiking after uh, sunset, but I'll need to get used to that. Uh, so anyway, there was a lot of climbing last night with a my pack's a little too heavy so my my legs were already tired this morning so it's just a struggle but just getting through it and I keep stopping and taking mini breaks um, where it levels out like right here so um but I'll make it there uh, it's supposed to get warmer but um right now at least there's still a cool breeze so I'm going to um, try to go faster where I can here's the view from uh, mile 19.2 it's about 9 15 I'm making pretty good time but these steep uphills kind of slow you down a little bit, especially when there's a lot of rock. Uh, right now it's getting more gradual, which is nice, not as steep, but definitely a lot of puds, which are pointless ups and downs. <laughs> so you keep climbing up 
sometimes really steep and then it'll take you down and then you have to climb back up on the other side again and so this has been a lot of probably the most of that we've done so far on the trail so it feels a little defeating at times but it's all part of the experience so you just have to embrace it I have to keep telling myself I'm building my Sierra trail legs so that makes it better just have to keep thinking like I'm at the gym or something <laughs> just doing some training my mask on for now because uh, the Santa Ana winds are blowing which are really strong and gusty and super super low humidity so as you're climbing hills and breathing extra hard <laughs> your lungs and nose everything's drying out and uh, it can be uncomfortable so putting this buff on really helps at least keep some of that moisture in so it feels feels better <laughs> so I'm about mile one getting close to one uh, closer to 122 soon and it's still climbing I was wrong it wasn't five miles it's more like eight but then there's still ups and downs all the way to Mike's place so this is just a hard section for me I remember this the last couple times too I don't really hear other vloggers talk about it so maybe it's just me but <laughs> it's kicking my butt all right I'm gonna stop here in this little cove um, out of the crazy wind and uh, just uh, take a quick little like a mini lunch I'll probably eat a lot more when I get to Mike's place but my uh, appetite's not really there today because I just did a whole ton of climbing so but I do need to eat something for some energy so I'm just gonna sit here and take a break and then uh, I have 4.7 miles to go to Mike's place which is mile 127.3 that's the next water source and um, I might take a really long break there and decide what I'm gonna do from there see if I can meet up with um, Rima and um, see what the plan is. I'm entering the boulder fields before Mike's place. It's about mile 123. This area is so beautiful. Yep, lots of boulders. I have only seen uh, three people out here today. And oh, it was about 11.45 or so. But it's strange because we've been running into uh, herds of hikers up until now in pretty big groups. So it's just weird how everybody's so spread out now. It's like I like it and I don't like it. <laughs> it's always that like, I guess that safety factor where it's nice to know people are in front and behind you and I kind of have that now because those people are uh, I think they're all in front of me now but <laughs> I don't know who's behind me but um, especially like on days where it gets really hot or you're in an area that maybe is a little sketchy and might make you a little nervous it's always comforting to have other people around of course um, today's not as warm at this time uh, as I thought it would be but we are up at elevation here. I mean, this is, we're going to be climbing up to 5,000 feet. We're well over 4,000. And with the Santa Ana winds blowing, it's at least producing a nice, coolish breeze. So definitely don't feel like overheating. But I'm trying to be um, careful about drinking enough and also conserving my water too until I get to Mike. So just a balancing act. But I'm doing good. I have plenty of water to get there. I have over a liter. I think a liter and a half. And I only have uh, oh, just around four miles left. So that should be plenty. I'm not sweating like a whole ton, so that's good. Uh, so the Santa Ana winds have been a blessing today. Sometimes they want to blow you off the mountain. And they're making it a little hard to breathe. <laughs> but with a buff, it's, it's definitely helping. But um, I definitely would take that over. No wind up here right now. This is one of my favorite areas so far, for sure. It's definitely my top three. So striking. It's like the land of the Flintstones out here.
bird looking. Rocks are just balancing on each other. Oh my god, I finally made it here. That felt like the longest walk ever to get here. Yay! Mike's place. So I'm sitting up here by uh, Mike's place tank. Um, it's not actually open to where people are going down inside uh, the facility, so we're all just kind of coming up here and taking breaks, filling up with water, and everybody's pressing onward. So I'm just going to wait here a little bit and um, probably go up the trail a few more miles. <laughs> so, of course, it's straight up climbing as soon as I leave here. <laughs> it's all part of the fun, right? <laughs> hey guys, I just wanted to give you an afternoon update. So we left Mike's place a while ago. Um, we're at mile 130.4. We're heading down to 131 something or other where there's a bunch of tent sites. So I'm kind of moving briskly, so sorry about any camera shaking, but I just wanted to give you an update what's going on today. I didn't do a ton of filming. Again, it was just a very strenuous day. Uh, but I uh, feel good. My knee has been really cooperating, which is, I'm just so thankful that both knees feel really good. Even after all the like abuse I gave it yesterday and today. So, and I'm carrying six and a half liters on my back right now. We're kind of in a hurry to get down the hill so we can get set up for camp. Thank you.